And like that, we back again. Like I said, this whole, you know, competition we got going on from two dope lyricists I just checked out, Dunn Q. That was my first time checking him out. You know, he had some really good bars, really dope this track. Now it's time to check out Tory Lane, see what you got. See Tory Lane's Dunn Queen. Call that man Dunn Queen. That, that's some... some. <laughs> All right, see what Tory going with this one. Uh, but yeah, man, smash and subscribe. Also, after this video, go check out my remix to J. Cole, Middle Child, Be The Pin Coming. Let's get straight to these bars, man. Don't gotta do that. You I don't know what I mean? Let's Dunn Q together. Who's that? Yeah, yeah, because they was... They was Yo, we only don't Damn, this is that Drake song. Is that Pound Cake or something like that? I don't remember. I think this might be the Pound Cake instrument. When this shit wants it get real frightening. Yeah, you know. Two birds, one stone. I get real one. disrespectful when niggas get neglectful of what we do over here. High bridge, stand the fuck up. Yeah. Canada. Uh. Live from the DM, I'm hollering at your BM. We discussing which color casket you about to leave in. Just say live from the DM. I'm hollering at your BM. Live from the DM. I'm hollering at your BM. Your baby mama. Wow, bro. So just, just straight into it. You just. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Canada. Uh. Live from the DM. I'm hollering at your BM. We discussing which color casket you about to leave in. <laughs> I did this shit for no reason. I'm letting. Oh my goodness, he's discussing with his baby mama what casket he about to put Dun Q in. Cause oh my goodness, bro. At your BM, we discussing which color casket you about to leave in. I did this shit for no reason. I'm letting rookies battle. But how did I get in this battle with a boogie shadow? Big Apple, New York City, more than pity. How can I beef with a dude only popping in four cities? I made falls with ditties and sat top floors with fifties and now I'm fully open. I played a bully on them call for your squad, your rescue get decimated. You looking like a style's piece. Nephew that never made it. Uh, I hated on niggas like Boogie and me. Hey, what Styles P got to do with this? Leave Style P out of this, please. Just. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold up. What we doing? Because we was popping in Styles P nephew that never made it. Forever hated on niggas like Boogie and me. Because we was popping in New York and every hood that you see. The day you beat me will be the day you see. See hot nine seven feet of you want loving and they feed me. Don't let these niggas gas you on that podcast to CC. High bridge the label, but only one of y'all on TV. Only one uh. of y'all to see awards and eat with the stars. It ain't really hard to figure out who I'm speaking of for. Now that my foot in the in the door, let's talk about it. No one. Walking out it, we bout to see the Quincy body with the chalk around it. I got the full baggage. You drive a Jeep Wrangler, the basic edition. Shit ain't even the full package. Someone tell Quincy I turn. Hold on, bro. Don't, don't, don't talk about. The man, whip now. Wait, <laughs> a Jeep Wrangler, the basic edition. Shit ain't even the full package. Uh. Someone tell Quincy I turn beef into mince meat. How to set a century? Why did he go up against me? I show niggas love and hatred. Niggas want to throw back. He tempted me, but never had this energy for Kodak. You paid, dreamed on for a feature to get the pussy. And somehow you think you fucking with me. The first night I seen Dream paid, dreamed on for a feature just to get the, the cookie. So I'm guessing um, Dream Doll and, and Dunk, you got a song out together. Maybe y'all let me know more about that. For a feature to get the pussy, and somehow you think you fucking with me. The first night I seen Dream Doll, I fucked her for free. And now you walk around like somehow you got one up on me. Nigga, please. Wait. See, Dream Doll just catching, like, ah. Uh. Everybody catching strays, bro. Seen Dream Doll, I fucked her for free. And now you walk around like somehow you got one up on me. Nigga, please, this your brother part. This nigga found Soldier Boy, Gucci headband, and Ward in his cover art. Why I'm back. <laughs> Listen, I seen that, and I, I didn't want to say nothing, but now he mentioned it. Oh my goodness, y'all wild, bro. Other part, this nigga found Soldier Boy, Gucci headband, and Ward in his cover art. Why battle with a boogie shadow? Why battle with a boogie shadow? He ain't even a chapter, he ain't even a factor. QP and Bubba touching way more money than them, they ain't even the rappers. It hurts when you kill a nigga you love. Ironic that the salt thrown from the niggas that slugs. Chewing these niggas with no ingestion. I got a real message from my brother Quincy, my nigga. It's time to go get tested. It's a couple hoes and starless, I know you infected. You really out here fucking raw with a scrotum infection. 
action And what's worse is you know it still you go unprotected You need to focus on a hit, need to go get a record See so you can find a dog Q in the whole nigga section Go get injected with whatever medicine you need to clear up Cause them pills ain't working for every time it flare up Yuck, I'ma let you breathe on that See, man, this is what Tory does, man. Like, bro. Damn. <laughs> you need to clear up. Cause them pills ain't working for every time it flare up. Yuck. I'ma let you breathe on that. I'm really begging that you think about your physical health. You'll never see your fucking album on a physical shelf. I'll beat your ass with your physical health. You'll never see your album on a physical shelf. Man said this album never, not even gonna make it in stores. Like, God damn. Well, I mean, albums don't really, people don't really buy albums in stores today, so I mean, ah, uh, yeah, it works. Think about your physical health, you'll never see your fucking album on a physical shelf. I beat your ass with your kid with the belt, you never flipped it to sell. He just said he'll beat his ass and whoop your kid with the belt? Nah, that's disrespectful. <sighs> Fucking album on a physical shelf. I beat your ass with your kid with the belt. You never flipped it to sell. You're not a hustler. Your daddy was a customer. I got the info from your baby. Mom. You're not a hustler. Your daddy was a customer. Damn, son. Damn, Tory man. You know he. Flip it yourself, not a hustler, your daddy was a customer I got the info from your baby mama playing info You drive a farm, but them $2,500 hostings ain't enough for you to pay those rentals You a shameless mental, well my aim is mental, fuck it My whole mood I showed y'all, fuck it My dick I done told y'all, suck it I'll punch your fat ass in your stomach And make everything in it go up it You wrote a tape for Hey, now, nah, 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 let's chill on the, the, the big guy jokes, okay? Listen, us big guys gotta stick together, okay? Okay? That ass in your stomach and make everything in it go up it. You wrote a tape for your nigga that died. You made a promise it would pop and that this shit would be live. Hurts that you had to tell my nigga a lie Cause that mixtape flopped and so did your other five Put the gun aside, my nigga, you ain't the one to shoot Big guns, nigga, you got locked for a 22 Pussy gotta keep a gun on his waist Cause you little nigga scared to get punched in your face Jada said it best, Quincy made his bed to rest Invest in a better vest, better for my case These bullets rather hit your head and chest Quit acting like you the mob, you trying to play Gianni But you got ran out of Amazora and Aviani The bridge is over, the bridge is over I got an extra long clip that it hit your soldiers My hands shoot like shampoo Hit his head and shoulders I sent his nine-year-old a Barbie Just to send condolence uh. Did he just say he gonna send his nine-year-old a Barbie, bro? Disrespectful, man Like shampoo hit his head and shoulders I sent his nine-year-old a Barbie Just to send condolence uh. Not the money on the head Forty minutes on stage Could put a hundred on his head I made so much millies and hundreds of his bread I could have the whole high bridge Coming for his head Top floor Glock stocked in the top drawer by the 38. About to bring LaQuincy and it's sent up to the pearly gates. Your daughter just came from turning eight and taking L's right in front of us. What you trying to perpetrate? All this blood make me regurgitate. Hey, listen. When you get a... That's a little touchy topic. I mean, I know these tracks don't have, you know, no boundaries. But when you get to talking about somebody, kids, bro, like, hey, that can turn from... We, we speaking on... On um, audio to physical, like physically, you know, handling this situation. Cause, listen, I, I'm not gonna go at somebody like mention anyone kids, and I don't care if he he's not really, you know, meaning anything about it. You know, I'm pretty sure he's not, but still, it's like you, you, you. Uh, that's all I'm saying. That's that's a touchy subject. But I, I know, like hip hop, you know, there's no boundaries. So hey, if you willing to go there. In front of us, what you try and perpetrate? All this blood make me regurgitate. Don't let my Bronx niggas move and have to boost up the murder rate. But since we going here, I let you know I'm here because this record right here is about to give you more shine than they boogie ever gave you in your whole career. Dang. I spit fire. You from the east side of the Bronx? You just a high bridge dick rider. You mad at my nigga Moolah cause it's shit hotter I know how it feels Now I'm lying, I don't know how it feels I just know that everywhere I He gonna say I know how it feels Now I'm lying, I don't know how it feels God damn Lord nigga no, I'm supposed to be real And I don't know how exposing me feel Fuck nigga mm. Just keep it real, I'm only doing this shit with you once You, you know, I, 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 hope, I hope you enjoy this shit though I hope, I hope you take this as a blessing, you know 
This this is a lot of paper view time you getting right now. I know you're not used to this. You a little frightened. But it's okay, my son. You know I still fuck with you, nigga. You know what I mean? At least off of this, at least the celebrities might know your name now, you know? I, I hope I did that for you. Oh, in other words, so you wild ugly, nigga. Wow, fucking ugly, nigga. You wow ugly, nigga. Fuck out of here. Tori wow, man. But hey, listen, this is he Tori took it down. He said you know he also said he only doing this once win on some. I'm not I don't know if this is going any further. I mean Dunk Q probably can still respond, you know, but I don't know if Tori gonna end up responding. And I'll let Dunk Q just come, you know, with you know, just KO him or something like that. But the internet with the internet they they're gonna make Tori respond anyway. So if Dun Q does respond Tori gonna have to respond uh, But like I said Some of them lines in there Hey listen This might get physical Versus a, a diss track <laughs> Like bro <laughs> But yeah man um, I also seen um, Tori and J.I.D. Going back and forth So I'm guessing You know It's like Tori versus Dreamville Out here in these streets Man I got J.I.D. said You know He doing this all Just to get at J. Cole So Like hey we might see a Tory and Cole, you know, back and forth. And you listen, I don't think, listen, even though J. Cole is a, a more, you know, leveled up artist and he's at a position where he doesn't even have to acknowledge none of this, I feel, still feel like as a hip hop artist, as an artist, you know, you still gotta, you got that, that, that hunger in you, 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 you know, when somebody come at you, you're not just going to be like, hey, I'm, I'm a chill. I don't know. J. Cole is just, he does seem like the one that just let this, you know, fly by. And also he does seem like the type that, you know, a respond to Tory if he does come out. So well, I don't know. But first, I know the next one might be J.I.D. versus Tory Lanez. And that's crazy that I, I'm loving the fact that Tory is bringing, bringing back, you know, like this. It's competition, seeing who's best lyricist, you know, going back and forth, um, you know, just kind of proving, you know, who really got the bars. And I'm, I'm loving the bars, bro. That's one thing. I, I, like I said, I, the only thing I just don't want to see is get physical or anything. I don't want to see it get past music. I just want it to stick on uh, records. Because, you know, I support, you know, the back and forth on records. But once it get physical, I, I don't support, you know, that, that physical beef and that's... That's not what we need in hip hop. But yeah, man, we're gonna see where this goes. And you know, when they get they drop their music, you know, I'll be here to react. Uh smash the subscribe, peace out support. Also go watch my um new remix to J. Cole Child Middle Child. Uh appreciate the support and y'all salute.